I mean, it was just the most traumatic thing I've ever seen. Teresa Bouchard is the proud parent of Benny, a five-year-old, almost 200-pound Leon Berger pump. But she was terrified when he started yelping and thrashing after being electrocuted on the sidewalk last Saturday night in West Vancouver. So I threw myself down onto the ground and then I could feel electric electricity some kind of electrical thing happening and I thought maybe it was related to the salt. Park Royal says electricians found the cause to be a broken ground wire. They say it's now been repaired. But this electrical engineer says salt and snow pose an increased risk to animals as they act as perfect electricity conductors. Lots of water there uh, and people sprinkling salt everywhere. So that can increase the probability and if there was a ground fault what could happen is the, the pet uh, experiences um, uh, the, the energy, energy from that, that ground fault and, and uh, those incidents happen. The mall has offered to pay Benny's vet bills, but his ordeal is not unique. Three-year-old Titan was shocked after stepping on the metal cover of an underground junction box in downtown Vancouver Tuesday. It was... Um it was mayhem. It was a freak accident. Titan was out for a walk with a friend at the time. And I just kept thinking, oh my God, <laughs> Lindsay is like waiting for her dog. And I can't imagine, you know, this like, please don't die. Titan survived, but it came with a thousand dollar vet bill. City staff say they identified old wiring as the cause and have fixed the fault. But other dog lovers are worried. There's some pylons and some tape around it. And then, uh, I went back the next day and it was all taken down. So it's just, and there's dirt put over the metal grate, or the metal plate on the ground, and uh, the dirt's all gone now too. And Bouchard is urging pet parents to be very careful. So tragic, you don't want to see it ever again. You're advised to keep your animals away from metal grates and have them wear boots when possible. Yasmin Gandam, CBC News, Vancouver.